So we're starting a prostate artery embolization procedure this morning. Uh, prostate artery embolization is a procedure for treatment of enlarged prostates. As you can see, we've gotten access into the patient's wrist and we're now treading a catheter and that catheter is gonna go down uh, from the wrist all the way down into the um, vessels in the pelvis. And basically this is the only access uh, to get the entire procedure done. So after getting access into the radial artery, we bring a catheter down into the internal iliac vessels. As you can see, we parked the catheter in the internal iliac artery here. And this helps us identify the prostatic artery. In this case, we put a Foley catheter in the patient in order to know exactly where the bladder is and make sure that we could identify the base of the bladder where the prostate would normally sit. This is a really large prostate, which means the prostatic arteries are quite large in this patient. And this is a common osteum of the superior vesicle and the inferior vesicle artery. And the prostatic artery comes from the inferior vesicle artery and fits this really large part. There's an AP projection of the same thing. You can see this is the prostatic gland here with all of the vessels fitting the prostate gland. And again, the Foley catheter being demonstrated here. Once we've identified the prostatic artery, we're gonna start the treatment uh, typically with 300 to 500 micron particles to stop the blood flow to the prostate. Then on the right side, we then cross over to the left side. Again, we are in the internal iliac artery and trying to identify uh, the prostatic artery. I already see it here. It's this vessel that basically courses transverse along here and gives rise to all this prostatic. Next thing we vessel. do is we get a microcatheter into that prostatic artery and you can see there's a lot of hypertrophied vessels, meaning large vessels fitting the prostate gland, which in this patient is about 260 grams. So this is a very large prostate. Uh, we then um, start injecting the particles on this side again uh, to stop the blood flow to the Post prostate. And as you can see, all of those en enlarged vessels we saw going to the prostate gland are no longer apparent. And this patient uh, who has had a Foley catheter in uh, for the last six months uh, should come back to clinic in about uh, three weeks or so for avoiding trial, at which time we should remove the Foley catheter and should be able to urinate normally.